If you would have told me at the start of the season that a team other than Barcelona, Real Madrid, or Atletico would be top of La Liga, I would have laughed at your face. But guess what? Girona are doing the impossible. We're almost at the end of November and they're literally top of La Liga. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing this underdog journey by taking over Girona for the next 10 seasons. The goal is to make Girona the best club in Spain, bigger than their city rivals Barcelona. Along the way, we'll have to develop an incredible team. But I don't think this challenge is going to be easy. Because I'm looking at this Girona team and I do not know how they're top of La Liga. I mean, yeah, there's talent here with Arnau Martinez. Savio is a baller. You got players like Garcia and Sigankov. But compare this to like Barcelona, Real Madrid, and it's 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 not comparable. So I think it's going to be a real challenge, especially considering our budget's going to be super limited. We've just got 13 million for the first season. This might literally be one of the most challenging takeovers we've ever done. Here we go, guys. Season one with Girona. I'm already telling you this. This is going to be a bit of a different takeover. I think we'll have to ignore the takeover leaderboard for at least the first few seasons. Our job is to get Girona to be competitive as quickly as possible. And I don't think it's going to be as easy as in real life. I don't know what they're doing in real life, but that's working. But we're going to have to focus on improving this team. Ah, but that 13 million budget's going to make things so difficult. But one thing that's going to help us in this Girona takeover is that we're going to allow ourselves to make three signings every season instead of the two. I think it's only fair considering how average this Girona team looks on paper. Okay, but now that I think about it, with 13 million, um, <laughs> three signings, how are we gonna do that? All right, boys, but looking at the team, it makes it very clear. Players like Savio, we've got to grow them as much as possible. We've got great fullbacks in Gutierrez, who's just 21. Arnau Martinez, who's 20. This team has a good batch of youngsters, and we've just got to build on them. But the problem is, some of our most talented players like Savio, Jan Kuto, and even Eric Garcia, they're all on loan. And if these kind of players keep returning back to their parent clubs, we're not really going to develop our team. I'm thinking for the first season, instead of making any new signings, let's complete these loan deals and make them permanent. I think that could be huge for us. Oh, but look at this. Eric Garcia is valued at 10.5 million. Savio is valued at 12 million. And Pablo Torre about 4.5. I don't think we can sign all of them on a permanent deal. Bro, this Girona takeover is going to be a lot harder than you'd expect. Do you know what? I think among all the players we've got on loan. Savio is the most talented one. He's been lighting up La Liga this season. I want the Brazilian here on a permanent deal. Let's make it happen. Yo, I think we're gonna have to spend our entire budget on Savio, but you know what? I don't think it's a bad deal at all because he's he's brilliant. I'm starting off with a 10 million euro offer to see what they say and they want 13.3. We can't even afford a single signing. How are Girona doing so well in real life? It's it's actually mental, but, but we'll go with 11 million offer, 18% sell on goals and just hoping that they accept and ah, oh, this is so frustrating. I'm telling you guys, even though our transfer limit is now three, getting three signings a season itself is going to be an absolutely big achievement. But let's see if 11 and a half million works. Yo, we're struggling to sign Savio. For now guys, 11.6 million is my last offer. Let's just see what they say. We can't afford him. We literally can't afford our most talented player. This is depressing. First season itself and you've got the likes of Barcelona trying to steal our players. Arnau Martinez. I, I can't I've already rejected this offer. I don't want to become a selling club, man. Nah. But we still need to find a way to make a bit more money to complete some signings. So we are selling a few players. Joel Roca, he's gone. 1.2 million for him. We also sold a veteran Borja Garcia for 5 million. He was 32, guys. 74 rated. Had to make some sacrifices. And Espanyol came through again as they signed Cristian Porto from us as well. We got about 6 million for him. Somehow, guys, we've managed to raise our budget by sacrificing a few players to 25 million. Surely with that, we can bring in some of the loanies. We meet again, boys. We're trying to sign Savio once again. I'm going to again start with like a 10 million offer just to see what they're thinking because if we can still get a deal, it would be perfect and they just want that 13 million. This time, we do have the money. Doesn't mean I'm not going to negotiate. I'm going 11 million for my next offer. They're sticking with 13. Okay, let's do 12. Maybe we can meet in the middle at 12 million. Okay, 12.6. And looks like after some rough negotiations, we're gonna agree at 12.3 million. Bro, I'm working so hard here for every signing. With that, we've secured Savio as a permanent player for Girona. Using the remaining money, I kind of want to convert Eric Garcia to a permanent deal as well, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. We do have like 12 and a half million left. If we can get Garcia for like 9 million, that would just be perfect, but of course, Barcelona want to make life difficult for us. Nope, guys, I don't think this is working. We just don't have the money. I mean, we might just have uh, just about... 
I think this might work. If I offer 10.5 million, this might literally work. Look at the tension bar, bro. Negotiations are going crazy here. And looks like at 10.6 million, we might just be able to sign Eric Garcia. And there you go. We've somehow convinced him to leave Barcelona and join us permanently. That's all our transfer business done for the first season, man. It was a grind and we weren't even able to sign anyone new to the club. That's how difficult it was to manage with such a tiny budget. But hey, still this Girona team managed to beat all the odds they're top of La Liga. We're making it through the season to see where we finish. End of the season and it doesn't look like there's any fairy tale for us this season. We're 11th in La Liga. It's Real Madrid and Barcelona who are top of the league, obviously. But honestly, it feels like we are where our team deserves to be, if that makes sense. With the players we've got finishing 11th, it was obvious. We're not going to get any fairy tale going in our favor. We're just going to have to work hard to develop this squad as much as possible so we can start winning the trophies. And talking about growth, Viktor Tsigankov has gone up to an 84. Arnau Martinez up to an 83. There has been some really solid growth from most players, especially new signings like Eric Garcia. Savio as well, 78 rated. But it was Artem Dovbik, our top scorer. Wow, I didn't expect that. Maybe this guy could be an underrated gem for our team. But the goal, I guess, with Girona is now to take it season by season and hopefully break into that top six in La Liga. Season two with Girona and it feels like our job has gotten even harder. A few of the older players have retired. Some have just gone back to their parent clubs. But yeah, it feels like it's going to be a real challenge to get Girona among the top teams in La Liga. But we're not giving up, not just yet. The good thing is from that first season, we were able to build up a few players that we can build the team around like Sigankov, Arnau Martinez, Alex Garcia. If we've got money to get a few signings here and there, I think this could be a strong season. And looks like we do. 34 million is a solid budget to have. I'm not surprised because if you didn't know, Girona are owned by the same company that owns Manchester City and a few more clubs. So yeah, the money shouldn't be a problem if we can keep performing. And I've already got plans to use that money, starting with the goalkeeper and Iñaki Peña, 77 overall, playing for Barcelona. I think this would be amazing. And yo, I've never seen this happen. His release clause is lesser than his market value. I think Barcelona have messed up by not giving him a new contract. I think we capitalize and pay his release clause. With that, we've managed to bring in a new goalkeeper with a lot of experience and quality at an absolute bargain of a price. These are the kind of signings we need to make at Girona. We've got our goalkeeper, but we also need a centre-back. And I just signed Mika Mormol, a player I've never used before for 10 million. This kid is 77 rated with crazy stats and he's only like 23. That improves our backline really by a lot. We've still got some money left, but I kind of want to spend a chunk of it on building our coaching staff because that's going to be important. And yep, guys, getting the coaching staff in order was definitely an expensive affair, but I still want to utilize our third signing. And for that, El Nenny is available as a free agent. I know he's 31, but a bit of experience might be what we need. Welcome to the club, Mohamed El Nenny. I'm looking at the team for season two and it definitely is massively improved in almost every department. Let's see if we can make progress in La Liga. Okay, we finished ninth in La Liga. We are making progress, but it's so little that it's kind of getting frustrating. Even in the Spanish Cup, we were nowhere. The only positive thing I see from this season was that some of our players grew really well, like Arnau Martinez is up to an 86. Sigankov is 86 as well. Alex Garcia, 84. The team is definitely getting better. I think we just need more improvements and more time before we can take the fight to Barca and Madrid. Season 3, and it looks like the board are really backing us. 56 million is our budget. But with that backing comes expectations. They want us to now push forward and get top 4 in La Liga at least. I mean, if Girona can do it in real life, we can as well. But the thing is, guys, I don't think 56 million is enough because we still need probably another CDM, someone with real quality, probably a new striker. 56 million is just not enough to bring in that kind of quality. So I'm thinking something absolutely ridiculous, which I don't know if you guys will agree with or not. Victor Sigankov, 86 rated, our best player on paper. He's worth about 87 million. If we cash in on him now, we can really improve the rest of the team massively. It's a big decision, but let's see what kind of money we can get for him. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? PSG are willing to pay 117 million for him. I think we take the money, boys. We've got to cash in right now. It's the smartest thing to do. With that, guys, we've made the big decision of selling our best player. We don't normally do this in our takeovers, but I think with Girona, I need the money to, you know, balance it out with the rest of the team. And honestly, you can't say no to 117 
16 mil. It's just too much money. Our budget now is 168 million and it's really time to use this money in the most efficient manner because if we do this, I think we can get top four and even beyond. With this money that we've just got, there is one signing that I absolutely want to make and one signing that would be a statement. That's right, guys. If we can somehow bring Ansu Fati from Barcelona, a club which is not really trusting him, not giving him the game time, they sent him out on loan to Brighton, maybe Ansu Fati can be the hero Girona needs. And now that we've got the money for him, this would be just crazy. We'll make him the poster boy of Girona. Plus, boys, this is what I wanted to do. Make Girona a club that's equal to Barcelona and by signing their star wonder kid, this would just be huge. We're going in with a 60 million offer to start things off. They want 77. This time, though, we've got the money. We'll still try and keep it tight in terms of negotiations. And would you believe it? 65 million actually works. Nah, I refuse to believe this. We're actually signing Ansu Fati. This would be ridiculous. Oh, look at the contract we're gonna have to offer him. But trust me, guys, I think it's gonna be worth it. And yes, we've made our first superstar signing in Ansu Fati. I've got a feeling season three is gonna be epic with him and Arti. I have also converted Ansu Fati to a striker and that kind of resulted in his stats going down. But we've got him on a development plan and I'm sure he'll recover those stats. That's right, boys. I want Ansu Fati to be leading the attack. It just makes sense to play like him playing up top in the striker position. But guess what? We've still got about 100 mil left and a couple more signings to make. Firstly, I'm bringing back Jan Kuto to Girona. Remember he was on loan here at the club? We got him back for 35 million and he's 81 rated, but he's gonna have to step up to be a good replacement for Sigankov. We then used literally all our remaining money to sign Martin Zubimendi. Honestly, being able to sign Zubimendi 84 rated, that makes me feel like we made the right decision sacrificing Sigankov. Because just look at how balanced this team looks. Almost every position I feel there's quality. Surely this season we can put up a fight to get a Champions League spot. End of the season and I'm seeing some solid growth in our players. Eric Garcia up to an 85 overall. Ansu Fati 85. He was the big signing we made. The new superstar of the team. And he actually delivered with 22 goals in 35 games. Let's go. Yo, he was even our top assister. That's mental. Around him as well. Iniaki Pena went up to an 84. Jan Kuto 84 as well. There's no denying the growth has been spectacular. Ah, oh, but the results are just not there. Only 7th in La Liga. We're getting closer and closer to the top 4, but so far in these 3 seasons, we've not really won anything. Forget winning, we've not even come close. But it's a process, guys. It's a process. Season 4, I think we can do a madness. Yo, I forgot to put my cap on for a bit. If you're wondering why on earth am I wearing a cap, I just thought it'd look cool. You know, cap 2G. What are we saying, boys? Rate, rate the cap look out of 10 in the comments. Oh my guy. Keep up the drip, my G. Season 4 with Girona, and I don't think there's any excuses for us to not get a Champions League spot this season. I mean, just look at our team. We've even got 71 million to spend. I think if we can bring in one quality defender, someone that's really high rated, that should be enough to elevate our team into top four. And the one defender we're signing is Mickey Van de Ven from Spurs. 25 years old, a lot of potential. I like the signing. Surely with Van de Ven joining in, we've got enough to break into the top four in La Liga. We're making our way through the La Liga season. End of the season and this does look promising. I think we have made a top four. Yes, we have just about. We're nowhere near the levels of Real Madrid, Barca and Atletico, but this is huge because next season we're gonna be in the Champions League. Oh man, what a season for the ratings of our players as well. Ansu Fati, Savio, these two continue to dominate the attack. Season 5, if we keep building like this, I don't think we're far away from winning La Liga. Season 5 I think is the first time we've got a Girona team that's capable of winning La Liga because you look at the team, quality everywhere. But we're also gonna be in the Champions League this season, so we need to massively improve our squad depth if we want to compete in all competitions. And the good thing is the Champions League money has come through. We've got 146 million to spend. And so we've made three quality signings for squad depth. Guys, we've brought in Seil Kumbedi, Diao Dione, and Nico Gonzalez, a former Barca player. That's solid depth in a lot of key areas. I honestly don't think our bench has ever looked this good. First team has never looked this good. Could this be the season we take Girona to the top of La Liga? To win La Liga, we're gonna need to show that we can actually beat the big teams in Spain. Guys, this is massive. Playing against Barcelona. A win could be huge for us. Can we beat them? Yes, we can. We're showing Barcelona that Girona 
Arena at the new Kings of Catalonia. Would you believe it, guys? We've even beaten Real Madrid. This could legit be our season. Yes, guys, we've done it. End of the season, Girona and La Liga winners. Five seasons, man. But we built an incredible team and pulled it off. And that actually gives us our first points on board. We're now on three points with Girona. I did mention this at the start, but we run a point system in the takeover series. Every time we win the Champions League, it's five points. Three points for La Liga or the Europa League. Two points for any domestic cups and one point for any Super Cup. Now that we've got our first points on board with this Girona team, and it looks like we might be able to win a lot more trophies in the future, I'm curious to see how many points we can get over these 10 seasons. Barcelona is at 50. If we can overtake them, it'll be crazy. Oh, but there's still a long way for us to go because look at that. Champions League, we got knocked out in the round of 16. But when we've got players like Ansu Fati scoring 27 goals, Savio is well dominating. I think we're going to win a lot more trophies in the future. Next five seasons, it's all about establishing a dynasty and getting as many points as possible. It's time for season six. And now that we are La Liga winners, I want to make a statement. And by that, I mean signing a player from either Barcelona or Real Madrid. Just to let everyone know that we are number one in Spain. And to be fair, we've already gotten Barcelona's golden boy in Ansu Fati. It's time to get someone from Real Madrid. Oh my days, Fede Valverde is 92 rated and what a signing this would be. It would instantly make us maybe even favorites for the Champions League. Oh, but his value is just crazy. But wait guys, we've got about 214 million. I think we can pull this off. And especially if you look at the midfielders, we've got Garcia and Herrera both are aging. This might be smart. No way, are we actually trying to sign Federico Valverde? This will be just one of the craziest transfers ever at Girona. Oh, and already Carlo Ancelotti has just kicked us out. I think this will have to be like a swap deal. We could maybe put in someone like Yankel Herrera, who's worth himself about 83 million. Chuck in another 80 million and see if that would work. And no, they're just not even interested. But I think we have enough to sign Valverde. I'm countering this with 170 and just, just trying to see if Madrid will come down in their asking value. And they are. I think we can do 190. Oh, but look at that. Carlo Ancelotti is getting annoyed. 185 is going to be my counter and that works. Are we literally signing Fede Valverde? And yes, guys, we've pulled off the biggest signing in Girona's history. Fede Valverde is now a Girona player. But is this signing going to be enough to help us retain La Liga and possibly win the Champions League? Well, it's good enough for us to win the Spanish Super Cup for the first time. That's a bonus point. We're up to four. Ah, but we lost the Spanish Cup final. Hang on. Fourth in La Liga? What went wrong this season? Champions League 2 PSG knocked us out. This was a tough season, man. Just shows that even though we've built an incredible team, success is just not guaranteed. I mean, I don't know what more could players like Ansu Fati do. I mean, he scored 34 goals this season. Kuto and Savio supplemented him really well. I really want to see this Girona team win the Champions League. So season seven, we're going to figure something out. And by figure something out, I mean signing one of the best young centre-backs in the game. We're starting off season 7 like we mean business. Antonio Silva's 87 rated. That's a massive upgrade for our backline. I mean, just look at this team. We've got an incredible bench. This season, we've got to get back to winning La Liga. And at least the minimum in the Champions League should be a semi-finals. Anything less than that is going to be a failure. We're making it through the season to see if we can achieve our goals. End of the season and we still miss out on La Liga. It was so tight, but that just shows how difficult it is to compete with Barca and Madrid. We do win the Spanish Super Cup, so we get a bonus point for that. We're on five now, but we don't win the Spanish Cup. Champions League is our only hope, and we just about scraped through to the round of 16. This isn't looking good. Oh, but we knock out Napoli and RB Leipzig. No way we knocked out Bayern Munich in the semis. We've reached the Champions League final, guys. Let's go. This completely changes our season. I thought we took an L by not winning La Liga, but we could legit win the Champions League. Once again, boys, Ansu Fati, our top scorer. A lot of credit goes to him. I'm so glad we decided to sign him back then. But boys, after seven seasons of working hard building this team, can we actually win the Champions League? It would be crazy. And it's a 3-0 win against PSG. Ansu scored Savio as well. What a win. That puts us on 10 points. Yo! We've got three seasons more left and I want to win as many trophies as possible. we got to keep this momentum going. Season 8 begins with Ansu Fati winning a Ballon d'Or. How crazy is this, guys? That you Rona player has won the award for being the world's best player. We kind of saved Ansu Fati's career. But I'm hoping this Ballon d'Or is going to mean we'll win a lot of trophies this season. 
And yes, guys, we're back to winning La Liga. That puts us on 13 points. Our first Spanish Cup as well, 15 points. UEFA Super Cup in the bag, make it 16. Ah, oh, but in the Champions League, PSG got the better of us. Winning back-to-back -back Champions Leagues would have been crazy. But look at the season Ansu Fati has had, man. That Ballon d'Or was deserved. 49 goals. I honestly think the team that we've built is better than any team in the world. We got two more seasons. Let's keep winning as much as we can. And there you go. That's another La Liga trophy. That puts us on 19 points. 21 for winning another Spanish Cup. But Champions League, which is falling short, man. I would love to win one more Champions League. And guess what? This team has got one last season to try and make it happen. But for season 10, I think this team needs a bit of reinforcements. That's right, guys. We're making another statement signing. Gavi is joining Girona. I thought it'd be a nice tribute to him because he just suffered an ACL injury in real life. And to suffer an injury like that at this age, it's, it's not easy. So yeah, we're signing him for our team with Gavi now in the midfield. Can we win the Champions League one last time? While we wait to see if we can win the Champions League this season, I'd really appreciate if you could spare a moment and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit a million subscribers and we're so close. With your help, we can get there. Oh, end of the season. This is not looking good. Third in La Liga. I would have loved to end by winning the league. We do win the Spanish Cups. 8-7 on penalties. That's crazy. That means we're on 23 points. Champions League is really what I want to win in our final season and at least we've started off well in the group stages. Knocking out Genk in the round of 16. Ooh, we knocked out Fiorentina. As well as Napoli. Another final. This is it. Could we really end this season? Season with the Champions League trophy. It's the final game of the takeover, man. I want that Champions League trophy with Girona. And yes, we do win it. 28 points for Girona. It's nowhere near Barcelona, but I think we've had an outstanding effort to get here. Two Champions Leagues with a team like Girona over 10 seasons? Not bad. But how many Champions Leagues can I win with a club like Newcastle? Click here to watch me take over them.